Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and it seems that uh, Disney is in is in flames, and uh, I think we all love to see it because now it doesn't seem it's doing too great because now because they have to do a little bit of firing, a little bit of a removal of the wokeness because uh, they're not doing Disney a too great of a job here. What we have is, is that Disney's diversity chief reported exit after woke policies contra controversies. Uh, it says here, last year, Disney World in Orlando, Florida, grabbed the headlines when it, did, when it did away with its longtime greeting, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, from its Magic Kingdom fireworks to show to promote inclusivity. We want to create that magical moment with our cast members, with our guests. Newton said at the time, and we don't want to just assume because someone might be in our interpretation, maybe representing as female, that they may want to be a princess. On Newton's watch, Disney also ditched fairy godmothers for more inclusive gender-neutral titles at dress-up boutiques inside its theme parks. Employees who were formerly called fairy godmothers in training are now called fairy go uh, godmothers apprentices. This way, cast members that might be identified as female can still be a part of the process to dress up and style the children without having to refer to themselves as a female Disney character, according to Disney blog Streaming the Magic. Streaming the Magic. Newton that had led Disney's diversity and inclusion initiative since 2017, coordinating with various teams to produce entertainment that reflects a global audience and says a welcoming and inclusive workplace for everyone, as per a profile on the company's website. This is the Little Mermaid police last month, featuring Holly Berry and African and African as Princess Ariel, highlighting the firm's effort at promoting diversity. Newton prior to Newton plans to join the cor corporate board of another company and focus on the creative company she owns, a source familiar with the matter told readers on Tuesday. The Post has sought comment, comment from Disney, which has yet to make a public statement on Newton's re reported departure. Newton's direct reports will be led to Julie Urges, the senior vice president of talent acquisition, on an interim basis, on an interim, interim basis, according to an internal note from Disney chief of human resources Sonia Coleman. During Newton's tenure, uh, Disney landed in the middle of the nation's culture wars by introducing gay, lesbian, transgender, and non-binary and other minority characters into its animated series and films. The company integrated a new a slew of other uh, charges, such as the outfitting Minnie Mouse with a plant pants suit instead of her traditional red and white polka dot dress. Disney also announced that it would do away with the Seven Dwarfs characters from its Snow White live-action remake in response to the criticism that was generating to those in the dwarfism community. In May, Florida teacher was investigated by the State Department of Education for screening Strange World, a Disney movie with an openly gay character. Last month, a survey found that Disney's reputation had suffered as a result of its weighting and polarizing topics, including transgender and sexual identity issues. The Axios, a serve, uh, the Axios and Harris Poll survey ranked Disney as the fifth po most polarizing company, a metric that is measured by the gap between the reputational score among Democrats and Republicans. The media giant plunged 12 spots during the seventh in this year, Axios and Harris Poll 100, which is based on a survey of 16,910 Americans from a nationally representative sample conducted from March 13 to 28. The company has engaged in a bare-knuckle battle with Florida Governor DeSantis, the GOP presidential hopeful, after it publicly opposed to the governor's so-called "Don't Say Gay" legislation, which is, uh, you know, that's wrong. You shouldn't say what that is because that's not what the what it is. Which sought to limit sex and gender identity education in elementary schools. It, it, so yeah, this is what's going on here. So it's essentially, she's being fired. Now, here's the thing. I'm going to go over with you guys exactly what's going on here a little bit into the stuff. I'm not going to read the full articles, obviously, but I'm going to show you kind of what's going on. This is a Disney stock, right? This is not doing too great here. It's just down, down, down. It's been red. You go this to five months. It's just cratering down. Bad, bad, bad. Uh, one month, yeah, this is a little bit of a rise, and then down, down, down. Six months, it's uh, it's in the green. So past six months, you have... You have this, right? It's a little bit of green, but it, it, it's not much up by much, right? So that you have it. And you have this. If you go in even a year, it's in the red. Uh, YD, or go this, the past year, uh, year to date is down, and then you go this, is down, and then five years, you're probably going to have, you know, it's down for the past five years, and then max you have is up all time, right? So this is up from, you know, 1993 to all the way here. It's just up. And as, seen, as you see, it sees a rise, 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 rise. Notice this, this rise is 2015, 2016, up, 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 up. And once you get to 2019 or 2020, this is its peak. And then it craters down, all the way down. And then you go back up. And it's still going, it goes up. And I think this is like from like the Avengers and stuff like that that's up here. And then it craters down all the way. So you see, even in the past year, 
one year, it's down, and it's just in the red. And as you see, it's just cratering. And the reason why this is, is guys, and which you probably already know, is that Disney Warner Bros. Fair signaled the end of the theater era. So this movie business died right around the great time of its greatest success. So, you know, um, this stuff here, uh, Shazam, Shazam, Shazam did horrible, uh, by the way. Uh, so the two biggest flops that probably did really did it then was Lightyear, and then we have Stranger Things, or not Stranger Things, but um, Strange World, which did uh, pretty much damping damage to it. And uh, Super Mario movie defeats Frozen 2 um, by <laughs> defeats Frozen 2, so that's a hurt to Disney. And we have this as well. The newest controversy and the biggest thing that's happening to Disney is The Little Mermaid declared a massive flop for Disney by box office analyst. So yeah, they they lost a lot of money by this they didn't do good well they didn't do good at all in china especially because you know they don't like black people in china and um all this other stuff here like it's not it's not great so they're doing bad and then we have this disney lost over 400 million on three major box office flops in 2022 so yeah it, this was from a strange world after down in light year is part of the is part of these people that did it and it says more that the devotion in Babylon also did horrible in this case as well. It, it didn't do well for Disney. They lost money. And then we have this as well. We have She-Hulk, uh, the She-Hulk failure. So a lot of the Marvel movies and a lot of the stuff they've made, even Mobius and other stuff that, that are not mentioned here, but these are the biggest ones, you know, that are, that are, that are here. These are what's causing Disney to have its stock plummet and they're losing money. But all the power to them because no more woke BS, no more of this stupid stuff that's happening to our movies get rid of them eliminate these eliminate these businesses and put in something new somebody that can surpass and people like you know that's creating the sonic movies and mario <laughs> surpassing disney all the power to you get more money get your bread because we need more companies like this to surpass it and if you guys haven't noticed there is also companies that are leaving uh hollywood and going to other going to other uh um states that is not blue and um kind of combating Hollywood. So, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's not seeming too great. And I'm assuming some of these companies are probably not in uh, California or what have you. So we'll see what's going on here. But it doesn't seem like Disney's going to do too great. They keep on this woke stuff and it's going to be on fire. And honestly, this person that's doing it, <laughs> you're really bringing down Disney, are you, sweetheart? All right, that's it for the video, guys. Like, subscribe, share. As always, take care.